It's currently the 13th of June 2011 and today we take our attention to Eritrea right near the Ethiopian border just off the coast of the Red Sea here to the Nabro volcano. Very uh, active today and some large eruptions were actually seen earlier today. Some loud bangs were reported throughout the area and also many um, smaller moderate earthquakes are reported throughout the day today. Actually two of the larger ones were reported at a max of uh, 5.7 magnitude both occurring right around 20 to 2100 zoom. So this morning or actually overnight here locally and also noting that these earthquakes have been uh, rather uh, spontaneous throughout the day today occurring all in and around this ball centered location and this caldera right in here as shown on Google Maps of uh, the Nabro volcano throughout this region here. So um, good news is population is rather thin throughout the immediate area of the caldera but Afambo Eritrea here just off towards the north has uh, one of the larger populations in the region still not seeing any reports of any damage out of there just yet. Uh, looking a little bit farther off towards the northwest in the uh, capital of Asamara here, it has some reports there of the ash cloud actually drifting all the way up towards that region there. So really is actually some news coming out of there. Actually one of the uh, quotes uh, coming here at EarthquakeReport.com, one of the readers did uh, write in here. It says, I live in the capital of Eritrea and Asamara and now I feel the earthquake, but the plume from the volcano is covering the whole Asamara since this morning. Uh, by this afternoon and the evening though, they have start stated that the uh, cloud has started to disperse here but several flights have already been canceled in and out the capitals of Eritrea here so really this uh, volcano is having a worldwide effect in the end it might uh, affect a lot of the uh, communication travel throughout the region we're actually going to get to the uh, flight advisory that was put out due to the ash cloud here in just a moment first I actually want to zoom in on here and just show a side view of uh, Google Earth on this uh, volcano right in here as, as stated uh, really a gentle sloping volcano a lot of lava flow on this region it's kind of a rift valley volcano so lava pools are really uh, familiar with this area but a large eruption did occur today and actually built up and what reports coming out of with a large bang actually reported in the region is indicating of an explosion eruption and also the ash cloud being reported as shown on this satellite imagery now just shown throughout the day today this ash cloud actually developing from very small and as you can see in the time lapse here from right to left to back to right here the overall cloud did expand earlier today to actually encompass a large area throughout this region here and also just showing this uh, satellite picture and just another image here took out the day today so uh, this is moving on to the flight advisory that was actually put throughout the region just saying from surface all the way up to about 4,500 or excuse me 45,000 feet and that's what actually this is indicating in here surface actually here just indicating 300 I believe that's what it is and also surface 300 and surface 300 that's actually surface to 30,000 feet most of your airline flights fly between 20 and 30,000 feet so any uh, major airline is going to have to get diverted around this actually exceptionally large ash cloud through this entire region here. And a little bit farther off towards the north, this is showing 30 to 45,000 feet for this box up in this region. So definitely major airlines in the upper atmosphere are going to have to get diverted around this entire region up in here. So really much of the Red Sea really kind of out of it today. All the way from areas up into Sudan, all the way up towards Egypt, also going to be affected by this as well in the long range as this starts to blow downstream here. So this will have an effect on worldwide travel even though the earthquake and the volcanoes have taken place in a uh, actually kind of a remote region as we all remember back in the Icelandic volcano uh, last year that affected all of Europe's travel so this may be one of those similar situations coming out of this uh, story today. And lastly I do want to show I showed the satellite imageries from earlier today but this is the one that is current uh, showing this as of approximately uh, 12 Zulu right now volcano and right in this region and you can start to see the center of this ash cloud kind of drifting off towards the west northwest throughout this entire region moving over northern Ethiopia here and if we scroll out here you can actually see how it extends all the way out towards Sudan out right in here so this volcanic ash cloud is exceptionally widespread throughout this region indicating a large eruption that took place here today all these volcanic or excuse me all these earthquake activities throughout the area also indicating a large eruption so overall this Rift Valley region right in here definitely seeing some volcanic and earthquake activity and this could potentially be a dangerous situation especially for people People rain in the area here and specifically the city of Fambo, Eritrea. So going to continue to monitor this situation and if you have any other questions, comments, or suggestions here, uh, please go to EarthquakeTechReport.com. There's plenty of discussion going on about this uh, volcano and the series of earthquakes associated with it and also uh, really in-depth discussions on this overall activity going on out there in Eritrea today. So thanks again for watching everybody. Stay safe out there and I'll likely have another update tomorrow on this volcanic event. Thank you.